In today's video I'm going to be showing you the GTX Titan V mining performance. This card comes at a really high price of about $3000. When I'm going to import this to my country it could be $4000 to $5000 with all my import tax fees. So that's the reason why I don't own myself a card of these because well yeah the channel doesn't earn so much money to buy Titan Titan V's at the moment. So that will be for the future if we are having some more subscribers. But I'm going to show you all its mining performance on different kinds of coins. So enjoy the video. Okay, so the first benchmark is for Ethereum mining. You can see that we reached 70 megashes per second at 213 watts from the card. If we OC it to a power limit of 65% that we always know that is a good mining overclock and we added 75 to the core and 130 to the memory, we came to a really nice 77 mega ashes per second at 237 watts from the card. As you can see we reach 3 mega ashes per watt and that is actually just about the same as an RX 470 to RX 580. So we don't see a lot of difference in the wattage per mega hash on this graphics card. In the Zcash mining benchmark on stock settings it reached 750 solutions per second drawing 220 watts from the card. When overclocking this graphics card it does 877 solutions per second drawing 244 watts. So we see a difference with the Titan XP, but we don't see a difference on performance. The Titan XP does do about 810 solutions per second, but it does draw way more power. Okay, so the next mining benchmark was Monero mining, and it does really good at it, because it reached 1224 hashes per second at the stock settings, only drawing 157 watts. While it was mining OC'd, we came to a really nice 1417 hashes per second, drawing 165 watts. So this is going to be a competitor for the Vega, but it's only 6 times more expensive. Okay, so the only library mining benchmark that I've got is that it reached 685 mega hashes per second at 240 watts. So that is actually pretty good, but... I wouldn't recommend mining with this graphics card on library. Last but not least there is the Verticoin mining benchmark reaching 88.7 mega ashes per second at 246 watts on the stock settings and on the mining settings it reached 100.3 mega ashes per second at 259 watts. These mining benchmarks were made possible by Bitsby Trippen. He made a nice live stream about this graphics card showing off all these nice benchmarks. So we really thank him for sharing us these informations and so on. I'm going to share this with you guys. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video today and see you guys in the next one.